Hi everyone, my name is Lily Zhang and welcome to another video of Meet Team Yola. So today I'm here with Georgina Pota. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, Pota plays for the Hungarian national team and she is a gold medalist in both doubles and teams at the European Championships. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm pretty fine, thank you. <laughs> and <Good>. you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Um, so I know that you and Matilda Ekholm have played doubles together for a while and have had considerable success. Was it difficult to play against her in the T2 league? Yes, of course, because we are good friends. Yeah. Uh, last few years we played doubles together and we got really close friends. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's always difficult to play against your friends. So, but we are professional players, so we fight each other. It was no problem. <laughs> so you're good off the table then. After yes. The match. For me, a little bit more difficult to get over it. <laughs> um, maybe it takes a few hours, mm -hmm. but for her, I think a little bit easier. Okay. <laughs> Who wants more? Do you guys have a record? Yeah, I always want to win, but yeah, I cannot always win. It's mm -hmm. a pity, but I try my best all the time. Okay, that's important. <laughs> a well-known quality of yours is that you are able to stay calm under extremely stressful situations. Um, when things are not stressful, how do you motivate yourself to do well? Uh, actually, uh, people are thinking that I'm not in stress, but uh, maybe you cannot see mm -hmm. on my face, but inside <laughs> I'm very nervous. Actually, before the match, so maybe it takes until the first set over okay. and then I get more relaxed and yeah, before the match I try to focus and concentrate on my next matches. Mm -hmm. uh, before the night maybe I watch some videos on YouTube um, what I should play against my opponent. So yeah, I'm getting more professional because uh, in the uh, past, I maybe I didn't do so well, so I tried to change, okay. and I think it's getting better and better. <laughs> nice. So you would say experience helps you a lot in this? Yeah, the ages, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you tell someone who has a lot of trouble, um, you know, calming down in a match or performing well mentally? What advice would you give them? Um, I think the most important when you start the match that uh, don't be in panic if you don't feel backhand or forehand just to try to focus on the next rally on the next point mm -hmm. because if you um, thinking about um, what you did wrong before or the um, before yes then um, you get nervous angry on yourself and and then you maybe lose a few more points because of your anger Mm, so you'd say like take it step by step, you know, yes. focus on this the next point. Yes. Yeah. An effective component of your game is to play extremely fast with a lot of speed rather than uh, spin so much. Uh, what made you decide to go this route in this modern spin dominated game? I think table tennis uh, changed a lot because the new rules. Uh, nowadays the balls, you cannot make so much spin. So I have to play more from power, uh, what is a little bit difficult for me because I played from feelings mm -hmm. and actually my backhand had the first ball with uh, spin, it was spinny balls and I feel it's a little bit disappear from my style so I had to change a little bit. Play faster. Yeah, play faster and uh, also I need better reaction to catch the balls because um, my leg is not so fast <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my arm is really fast and my reaction so I have to improve always these things. So you've had many successful years playing for TTC Berlin Eastside. Um, do you remember any particular year that stood out to you or maybe the most memorable match you've had for them? Yes, a few times we won um, three titles in one year, Champions League, Bundesliga and um, Pokal, uh, German Cup okay. uh, in one year uh, and yeah, it was my best years there mm -hmm. and I'm very thankful for my club because uh, without them I think I couldn't be so good player. Of course I, 
I learn in Statistica in Budapest. I tried, uh, I learned everything there, how to play table tennis. But I think um, this step I needed in my career that I changed uh, my club to Germany mm -hmm. from Hungary because um, in the league there are many different players. Uh, defense players, uh, Chinese pen holder, so it's many variation. And in Hungary, sometimes the practice can be boring because uh, right-hander or left-hander players. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it was a big step for me to go abroad, mm -hmm. and this mix uh, could help me to to play this level. Right, so it's important to play with many styles, right? Yes, in table tennis it's very important because I think this is the one of the hardest sport. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite style to play against? Um, when I was younger, I didn't like to play against defense players mm -hmm. because I have to spin a lot and it's <laughs> much work. <laughs> uh, and nowadays, uh, I can say I, I like it because I have time, I can chop and then one spin, and if I get higher ball, then I can smash it, so. Okay. You have played many different leagues in different formats, for example, you know, T2, um, the German League, and uh, UTT. Do you have a favorite one or one that you like the most? Um, I cannot say uh, which one was the best for me because I enjoyed all of them and uh, yeah it, it's different ways you like because um, for me Tito was a little bit more fun it was not so serious and uh, the team uh, what I had it was really nice mm -hmm. and uh, the Indian League um, it was really more serious and uh, I felt a little bit stressed. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, in Germany, this is my job and uh, I should win all my matches, but it's not possible, but I tried. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I like table tennis and it doesn't matter which league I play. So last question, um, why Yola? Hmm, it's a long story because uh, when I was um, cadet or mini cadet, uh, you all asked me um, to, to play in their clothes and uh, because I had some good results also when I was cadet. <laughs> and uh, since then, okay, sometimes I changed mm -hmm. uh, to other um, brand, but my family is, is Yola. And long time ago, I'm playing with the Ola Rubbers blade and clothes. So I think it was not a question for me from the beginning because from I, s I know myself, I'm playing in the Ola clothes. So yeah. yeah, it was not a question. <laughs> <laughs> so Yola is just, you know, your family. And yeah, yeah, I like, I like the equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. Long time ago, I'm playing with this. Um, rubbers and baits, so yeah, it was not a question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Georgina, thank you so much for joining us today and taking thank the you. time. <laughs> thank you. So this was another episode of Meet Team Yola, and we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and comment on the video and subscribe to our channel. Check the description for all our social media handles and stay updated on the latest and most recent news. Bye, guys.